Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Let's continue building Ariel's modern day apartment. We have done the first floor, the bottom floor down here with all the things she's gonna need when she stays in the city. She's got a floor to ceiling aquarium and she's got through this little door here. She has got a little bathroom, but she doesn't need a big bathroom because it's just her staying in the city when she has to stay over by herself. But we've managed to pack a lot into this tiny bathroom and she's got all these things on the bottom floor she's gonna need. But we're gonna head up to the second floor now. So we need, we need some stairs that are going to go up to this. So this is as much as our second floor is going to be, if I can get it to stick onto my little jumpers on the back there, little jumper studs. So let me see. We'll sit Ariel down and we will make some decisions because I have these pre-made Lego stair pieces in two colors. So we've got this brown, which kind of really doesn't go with this build at all. We've got them in black as well. And I'm trying to stay away from as much black as I can for this build because it just makes it really dark. And I want this one light and airy. We've also got these curved ones, which aren't going to work at all. They're just not going to work. So we are going to build our own stairs, which won't be quite as substantial as the stair if we were using the pre-made stairs, but this way we can customize them and make them the colors that we want them to be to go with the rest of the build. So the treads, the bits you step on are going to be uh, these light aqua pieces, and we're going to break them up with the see-through pieces so it looks as though they're see-through, but they're not going to be. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of an optical illusion, kind of. So this is going to be what our stairs look like, but we're going to need to... Uh, let's just build it up a bit. And I want to make just a bit more substance down the bottom, so a bit more stability. So we're going to put these pink translucent pieces here, and we're going to build little flowers, a bit of a flower pot plant thingy going on under the stairs which is going to very cleverly double as some extra structure for the base of the steps and it also gives us a nice little tropical feel too down here under the stairs adds a nice pop of color so we've got our flowers going in here and then another i wonder if we can squeeze yeah we can kind of squeeze another one in here we can angle them around how we want them Nice. Oh, sorry, Ariel. <laughs> so that's what's going to look like under the stairs. And then we can put our next four square piece here, our tan piece, and start building our steps up. We'll put the treads on just so we can see how that's going to look. I really like how that's going to look so we can put the rest of this furniture back in. <laughs> Couldn't see if it in the way before. That's okay. That's why Lego's awesome. You can take things in and out. Let's build the rest of the steps up. And we're going to obviously do it in the same pattern as we started. And we just have to make sure that we take it to the right height. I think that should be right. Let's get our floor, our flooring for the top level. And that's good. And we've actually got we've actually got a decent amount of structure underneath this floor so we can press down on it, it should be okay let's send ariel up <laughs> she can be our test subject that's good now we can press down on all of those and yeah that's not going anywhere awesome and we can also detach it if we want to get into the kitchen so let's put ariel up here in oh my goodness i should have made this top bit of spa but i have ideas for a spa somewhere else let's start making her bedroom up here so a little loft bedroom and it also looks into the aquarium i love i love in this design i just oh, wish i could live in these houses that i build how epic would that be so over here is going to be the bedroom and over here is going to be her own private ensuite spa and i just have to make sure i leave enough room for everything but i love this little feature piece over here that's going to be the window in the spa room it's not really the bathroom because the bathroom is directly underneath it and we're going to use this as a separator just a little one just between the bedroom and the spa room and this is really just for a separation it really doesn't matter that there's no privacy between the bedroom and the spa room because this is Ariel's little private bedroom it's just for her Okay, so we've got the bedroom done. Let's not build the furniture up here. She's gonna need some side tables. We're gonna make them minimalist. So we're gonna use this window piece with our white backing. So there's one side table. And we've got a jumper plate on the top here. And there's not a whole heap of things that actually fit in this space underneath, but this purse does. This purse 
fits absolutely perfectly in there. So Ariel, that's now your special purse. And on the jumper stud up here, we're gonna have one of those jewelry display holdery things for Ariel to keep and display this necklace, which she has redeemed from Ursula, that Ursula kept her vice in. So this is very special and significant, this necklace, that Ariel now has the keepership of it. And keepership even a word. And here is the matching side table for the other side of the bed. And speaking of beds, that's what we need to make next. So we're not gonna make it, we're gonna make it nice and sleek looking. We're going to use these bright green pieces in the middle because no one's gonna see them and I don't use them much. So they're going to be really useful for bolstering up the middle here of the bed. This is going to be the little overturny part of the blanket. It's all going to be in this lovely dark blue. Nice, and for the bedspread, we're going to use this piece, which you might remember me using as a sleeping bag when we made the casual aerial outfit. But now I need to pop all these off because I need to fill in the middle, which I totally failed to do. But that's okay, easily fixed. Now, now my bed's gonna look a little bit more completed. That's so cute. We're going to put that matching bedspread -y thing up here over her pillow. But we're just gonna take it down a little bit lower because it just looked weird sticking up that high. And underneath we're gonna use these, which means we can stick this on and take it off quite easily up in the bedroom. Okay, let's go and install the side tables. Make sure the necklace is facing the right way. And, oh, <sighs> okay, I can see this necklace is going to, going to cause me some troubles. So we've got bedside tables, we've got a very comfy, very elegant looking bed up here for Ariel to sit in and she can roll over, she can look into the aquarium. And up here, we're going to put a lamp, just one little lamp, I'm not really into symmetry for this. So one lamp, which is her reading lamp, there we go, that looks lovely. That fills that space very nicely. Now speaking of filling spaces up, she spends a lot of time sitting up here in her bed relaxing, just look chilling out on her iPad. So we could put that maybe here on the bedside table or under, oh, oh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Ariel. Whoa, okay, all right. Um, maybe we'll put this in the little niche over here. That's a perfect spot for it. There we go, oh. I think I've made Ariel the slipperiest bit ever. We're going to sticky tack her on here. She'll be fine. Okay. On the little separating banister between the bedroom and the spa, we're going to put one of her favorite lotions that she likes to use or favorite bubble baths that she likes to use in the spa. And now I need to see whether I can make the, the biggest spa with the curved pieces to fit this space, the remaining space, because it's not a huge space, but we want a nice, really luxurious spa. I don't know about that. I don't know that that's big enough. Let's take this this bit out. And if we move it that bit down and we put a single one in here, we put, yeah, that's better. We can put a nice big Lux Gold tap on it. And she's going to need, oh, we're going to need some soap. So we'll put some soap over here. And she's going to have her spas by candlelight. So let's make a really fancy candle here. We can use, yep, this can be the wax. And we're going to use this new candle piece that came in there, or well, started coming in the Harry Potter pieces. That's lovely. Oh, that looks so nice. Now over here, we're going to put a little plant because plants are beautiful in apartments. They just make everything friendly and they really fill a nice space too. Okay, I think, I think we've done really well with this bedroom with her own little ensuite spa. So this is the whole thing so far. We're not done yet though. She needs a pool. I mean, this Lux apartment has got to have a pool. So how are we going to do this? <laughs> yeah, so I did think about putting it up the top, but it's just not going to work. We're not going to have a rooftop spa. We're going to, or a rooftop pool. We're going to put it down here. So let's build our little rectangular pool. And, and then let's see how that's going to actually look if we just wrap it in the front of the living room there. I think we're going to have to be a bit clever here. So let's put, well, not clever. We're just going to have to build build up the base, I think. So if we put this uh, like that, so we're going to want just a little bit of a step down from the living area down into where the pool area is. So we're going to need a whole heap more base plates, which is going to be entirely underneath the whole thing. So let's line it, line the edges of it with bricks. And I'm using tan because tan just looks fantastic with the other colors. And also I have a lot of tan bricks. So they're gonna look really nice for brickwork. And let me just see, this is so much like doing a jigsaw puzzle. I just have to find what I have in the right size and shape to fit the space. 
and this part here is going to actually line up with that that seam in our two base plates on the bottom floor that's going to give it some extra stability too and let's have a look okay well that's that's the right idea but we want it higher so let's make it let's build it up by well let's let's do another row of bricks and see how that see how that looks there's a bit of trial and error here but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to go higher than this I don't think this is going to go up quite high enough let's fill all these spaces up here line all the edges we don't have to fill all the spaces but we do have to make sure it's supported all the way around yep okay we're gonna do it another layer of bricks up and because I'm running out of these two by ones we're going to do some single ones along the edge we should be fine that'll be fine for stability all right and this front little outcrop bit is going to be a little lower than the rest so let's put that on and see see how that goes <laughs> we should probably have done this first you really should probably build from the bottom up but it's fine it's all fine sometimes you just have to build and then fill in the spaces later so that's the thing with lego you can just make it up as you go along you just keep adding to it but now i have to just make sure i press all these bits down nice okay that's done and now the pool sits in here as a little step down from the living and the dining area okay so ariel is heading down the stairs this is where we're going to need a bit of a step down into our outside area so let's use white white is so clean and pristine and she's obviously got somebody to come in and <laughs> mop it for her every day <laughs> that'd be nice too and some lights out here too some pool lights some outdoor lights and of course we're going to need just a few token plants just to pretty it up and to make sure we line the edges of those steps so you can see where you're going as you go down that's cute that's so cute so now she can go down here and she can jump straight in her little lap pool and she might need a floaty this floaty just came out of one of the swimming pool sets and if I put her in there she's gonna look kind of weird so let's uh, let's suspend it with some transparent pieces now you may notice that I've actually left the pool that's not tall enough the pool floating so not attached to the rest that's so that if I want to I can line it with with plastic and fill it with water and then I can easily take it out and empty it as well if I want to so what do you think how does the lap pool look at the front of her house she's got everything she needs she's got an aquarium she's got her dingle hopper display she's got her necklace she's got a pool she's got a personal spa she's gonna love it here Ooh, and she looks so cozy up here ready to get into bed or she can spend as many hours as she wants in the spa getting all wrinkly and frothy by the light of her scented candle oh, it's so nice Oh, I'm really thrilled with how this has turned out. It just looks fresh and like a beautiful modern beach house apartment, but I'm not quite finished with it yet. I have another plan to add something else into this build. Can you guess what it is? Let me know in the comments if you have a clue. What could it be? And really important is not to forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell so you actually know when that video goes up so you can see what I put in. And I'll see you with that video soon. So I better get working on it. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.